There are many ways to disguise who we are. You can wear a mask, alter your voice, or perhaps change your handwriting. You can put on camouflage that matches the terrain you're in so you can't be seen. And some folks are good at completely changing their appearance with makeup, perhaps tricking us into believing they are a vampire or maybe a beauty queen. Normally it's just good-natured fun. But businesses can wear disguises too. They can deceive us, much like a magician who uses sleight of hand to make us scratch our heads in bewilderment when we realize we've been fooled. Unfortunately, there are times when this can lead to dangerous consequences. Today on our show, we're going after a company who I describe as a dirty cleaner. I'm Dale Cardwell, and this is our Trustdale Investigates podcast we call This Could Happen to You, where our Trustdale team puts the focus on stories that have impacted people just like you and me. You know, I don't know. I got mixed up, uh, crossed up, and I, I thought... Ms. Martin lives alone in her home and she's quite capable of handling most of her chores. But she recently had surgery, so she hired a visiting nurse to assist her with a few things. Ms. Martin likes to keep her house clean, and it shows. Some of her chairs are protected by a clear plastic, making it worry-free for when the grandkids come over. Along with treating a patient, visiting nurses can also serve as companions to those they work with, or even help with errands. In Ms. Martin's case, her nurse offered to help her look up a phone number for a carpet cleaner to keep her house looking tidy. The nurse says she's pretty sure she Googled to find the phone number for Stanley Steamer, the carpet cleaning company that Ms. Martin has used for years. The carpets in her home certainly don't look dirty to me, and I didn't see any stains or evidence of anyone spilling their drinks anywhere. No brown markings or coffee remnants or toppled over grape juice, and definitely no marks from a misbehaved dog. Nevertheless, Ms. Martin says they need to be cleaned, so she's going to clean them. You've probably noticed I haven't shared Ms. Martin's first name. She's a bit embarrassed and scared about what happened to her, so we agreed not to disclose it though she wanted to share her voice because her story is an important one. We often assume someone's qualified. When I go to a doctor, I'll be honest, I don't verify that he or she has actually graduated from a medical school. I mean, of course they did, right? Or they wouldn't be running a doctor's office? Though it may not seem as serious, you need to know if the electrician or plumber coming to your house is qualified and background checked. You don't want them to start a fire or cause a major leak. But of greater significance, you don't want a criminal alone with you in your house. It's a terrifying scenario I've reported on a lot of times. I recall when a family hired a moving company, but one of the employees from that company decided to move more than he was supposed to when he snuck into their bedroom and stole their jewelry. It turns out the moving company had hired a convicted felon fresh out of prison. When I asked the moving business owner why he hired this guy and didn't do a background check, the owner said he knew his employee was a convict, stating it's hard to find and hire people for the job, so he was willing to take almost anyone. Folks, that was an eye-opener. Back to Ms. Martin's situation. She went ahead and called the number her nurse found on the internet for what she thought was the carpet cleaner she had always used. I picked up the phone to call Dana Steamer. She then set up an appointment for the company she called to come over and give her an estimate. And the person came out and I said, are you you with Stanley Steamer? He says, yes, I am with Stanley Steamer. Some red flags started appearing to Ms. Martin. Her instincts kicked in and she became inquisitive. And I was looking at its clothes and I didn't see anything that was professional like Stanley Steamer is. He says, well, we subcontract out and I'm here to clean your copies if you want your copies clean. She recalled that Stanley Steamer employees are always in a clean uniform and she became very wary when the cleaning man in her house wasn't so upfront about being willing to move her furniture like she's used to her previous cleaner doing. Things weren't adding up. And he was calling somebody to reset the, um, rescheduled me so he said I'll be back on the 21st and he said now this package will will cost you $299 so I said okay that's fine so he sat for a while and then he left 
But after scheduling her appointment, Ms. Martin finally realized she was being scammed. An imposter company was trying to get her business. An unknown business was trying to disguise itself as Stanley Seymour. And Ms. Martin took the bold step to tell them on the phone. That I didn't want them to come back out here, you know, and they called back several more times after that and this morning at least three times. Here's the really smart thing Ms. Martin did. She searched again for the phone number of Stanley Steamer, but this time she reached out to the true Stanley Steamer and asked them if they had a record of her scheduled appointment. Unfortunately, no, they didn't, which means some other company was obviously a charlatan. Ms. Martin, how do you feel about that man being in your house and going off your It was very house? scary. It was very scary. Now I'm thinking back, and I don't know his intentions or what they were. It was very scary. An unknown company disguising itself had come into her home, toured her personal belongings throughout her house, and she had no idea who they were. And she had no idea who the man she let inside her house works for. He had lied to her. What else would he do? This is where Trustdale got involved, and it was time to find out who the perpetrators are. So we set up a sting. When Trustdale investigates, returns. Can I just confirm, you, you guys um, work with Stanley Steamer? We are so, yeah, we are, we are associated with Stanley Steamer. Cars are so important to our lives. Don't take the chance of your vehicle breaking down. When it comes to oil changes and preventive maintenance, you can trust Haviland Express Lube. Haviland Express Lube achieves that goal by getting you in and out quicker than the competition and delivering the best value every time. Plus, you're double protected by the Trustel Make It Right Guarantee. Service you need from the people you trust at Haviland Express Lube. Welcome back to Trustdale Investigates podcast we call This Could Happen to You. Here's more of our story. If you've seen the family-oriented movie Masters of Disguise, I feel sorry for you. It's not very good. The Master of Disguise. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> turtle, turtle. Ready, PG. In the movie, comedian Dana Carvey takes on the role of more than three dozen characters, all with different identities. The actor is able to transform himself into any persona he wishes. He even pretends to be a cow patty in one regrettable scene. But the concept of the movie, being gracious here, is that given the opportunity, one can disguise himself and become a hero. That's a positive scenario of faking who we are. But when a company falsifies who they truly are, I can't find a benefit. That's why we are all skeptical when we see a commercial for a business, and everyone is so happy, including the well-behaved dog, because in reality, there aren't too many products or pills that could make every family enjoy their Thanksgiving meals without someone getting into an argument. If we trust a friend, we ask them for advice on who they suggest to hire as a painter or a plumber, or we check out online reviews but we try our best to decipher if they are fake or not. It's tough to find honest answers about companies when they're doing their best to hide their faults and put on a glamorous face for their business. When Ms. Martin realized the carpet cleaner she had hired wasn't being truthful about who they really were, we wanted to confront the man, so we decided to sting him. One of my tougher producers put on her own acting role and pretended to be Ms. Martin's sweet granddaughter and called the dirty carpet cleaning company on the telephone. Grandma was telling me that she wanted, um, you know, she usually uses Stanley Steamer. Um, are you guys affiliated with them at all? Yes, we are, ma'am. I'm sorry. And let's hear that again in case there was any confusion. Can I just confirm you, you guys um, work with Stanley Steamer? We are so, yeah, we are, we are associated with Stanley Steamer. Let me say this politely. Just kidding, I'll just say it. The man is a liar. Stanley Steamer does not use subcontractors. We don't know who these carpet cleaners really are, so we arranged with them to keep their appointment with Ms. Martin to come clean her carpets and we could find out who these guys actually are. Ms. Martin was a little nervous about our plan, and so were we. Knowing that the company used deception to get her business, we didn't know what to expect. As we waited with anticipation, looking out the window of Ms. Martin's home, we finally saw a van pull into her driveway. And of course, it wasn't a bright yellow van that Stanley Seymour uses. This one was white. Okay, he just rang the doorbell. 
So it's time for me to say hello. How are you? Hi, I'm Dale Cardwell with Trustell Investigates. How are you? Hey. Are you with Stanley Stamer? Uh, we, we work with him, yeah. You work with Stanley Stamer. Who's your contact there? Uh, I can give you my uh, supervisor. Excellent, thank you. And so he led me from the front door out toward his van, where he called his boss. They spoke for a while as he paced up and down the street. I couldn't understand what they were saying as it was in another language but he eventually gestured towards me and handed me his phone so I could speak directly to someone on the other end. Hello? Hi, Ben, this is Dale Cardwell. Yeah, I'll get home. Yeah, I uh, am calling because your gentleman here came to Miss Martin's door and he says he's with Stanley Steamer. And we know he's not with Stanley Steamer, so can you explain why he believes he is? It's a little hard for you to hear what's said in the phone call since the carpet cleaning guy turned on the engine to his van. But the boss tries to say that his employee must be confused about who he works for. And then the boss decides it's best to stop answering my questions. At this point, I've handed the phone back to the fraudulent carpet cleaner, and he decides to take his business elsewhere and backs his van up and into the street refusing to answer any of my questions. This poor lady would have paid you a lot of money. Is it true that you only take cash? He's likely off to his next carpet cleaning appointment. Perhaps he was going to fool his next customer. Maybe he does a decent job cleaning carpets. Who knows? But that's certainly not the only thing at stake. It's the reputation of the true company. It's the security of the customer knowing who they've really hired. We asked a real Stanley Steamer employee for a simple way to know if you actually have them at your house. Well, one, when you look at our uniforms and our appearance and also the truck, that's when you know the real deal is coming. That's Lenart Terry. He says he's heard of others trying to pull the same scheme. But I wanted to figure out how it's done. Where did Ms. Martin get that phone number? Why did she and her nurse think they had actually called Stanley Steamer? It turns out the scam is fairly low tech. You see, when we search for something online, the top results are usually paid advertisements. So, for example, if you are wanting to purchase a wristwatch and you type into Google the words Rolex or Timex, well, it's likely that the first results you see are from companies selling those watches. They get to the top of the millions of possible search results by purchasing what is known as keyword advertising. Businesses pay search engine companies like Google lots of money so that their web pages might be more visible than the companies who don't advertise. In Ms. Martin's case, it appears that the imposter company may have purchased advertising with the keywords Stanley Steamer, so the imposter company would be listed above the true Stanley Steamer. Wow. That's a disguise. So we contacted Google to ask about this practice, and a spokesperson gave us an emailed response, which I'll have my producer Steve read in his amazing professional voice. Okay, Steve, let's hear your Google representative voice. Thanks for flagging this to us. As always, when we find ads on our platform that violate our policies, we move swiftly to take action. We have removed these ads and the advertiser accounts. Great. So we cut off a major way for this company to deceive others. But our mission isn't complete just yet. Don't forget, Ms. Martin never got her carpets cleaned because we chased off the phony guys. So as a thank you to Ms. Martin, the real Stanley Steamer company showed up and came to clean her carpets for free. And she's thrilled that she was able to help us stop the bad folks. And I really have enjoyed you being in my home. Is it scary that it almost happened to you? Yes, very scary. Yes, it was. And I would be remiss if I didn't tell everyone this. I know a simple way to find real businesses. Check out the great companies I recommend on my webpage, trustdale.com. Or this could happen to you.